something, uh, and, and maybe slow your brain. Uh, uh, I forgot that we're off. actually Byron, um, doing, uh, this is a Condor and Crows, you know, we're back at it again. It's the Cowboys. It's the train. It's the, you, you know, the this Byron, and the that and what have you. The wiki wiki wild Byron. west. <laughs> so the last time we played was, God, uh, like a month ago or something, or was it more than that? Uh, probably something like that yeah i have no real concept of time you know um, dude being a being an insane a mentally mentally incapacitated person right? which, is not me, which is not me being an ableist i just hey. i'm making Here. a joke because i'm a buffoon um and that's all that you really need to know about that but um so the last time we played i think someone was murdered by a baboon um, <laughs> there are a lot of animals that are just on the loose on this train. Yeah. Uh, did anyone take damage? I don't remember. I I'm good. Am, uh, I we am. all ate stew, and then there yeah. was some healing vials of stuff. <clears throat> so I think we're all oh, good. Oh yes. yes. Oh yeah. The heal. Yeah. I sorry. Never mind. So I am okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. I've because fucking, you met with the... I took a lot of damage, but I I must be oh, I, I I forgot Fine. about that. So I'm I forgot about the the healing stuff, the healing potions. Yeah, yeah he, that that um, that weird old man who was yeah. like vivisecting that bird woman, um, living taxidermist, yeah, Doctor Moreau. He, uh, he was like, "Here, take these, and you know, and if you, I'll give you these if you help me out." And then you guys were basically you took the took them and then decided, yeah, anyway. you were, you were, you we're a bunch of criminals, <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna take them. <laughs> and I think I think between all of you is aren't there just two? I think of the vials, huh? uh, probably. Or is there more? Or is there enough for everyone? I don't remember. I can't remember. I there might have been. Don't know. I think there. I actually do think there were because that was like part of the incentive was that you each get one. Right. Of these, oh, I think. Okay, I'll mark that down then. I don't. I'm having trouble remembering it, dude. And it's I think. Been, well, yeah, and I think Burl, I think, well, yeah, you did use one because you healed. Yeah, because um, I took, I was at, like, four hit points. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody. And I keep forgetting about my goddamn hat. Oh, um, yeah, I keep, I, keep, about hats too. I keep forgetting about it. I was just like, I'm just like, well, I took this much damage. Mark that now. Myron. Oh, right now. I, I think the last place we left off, All right, buddy. you guys Here. had eaten and healed. And then hmm. yeah. you were getting ready to, I think you were getting ready to move into the next. Uh, Same. Yeah, the in the direction part. where the harpy went. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and I think that's where, where it ended off because she just like burst through the doors. Yeah, we right. just, and we hadn't yeah. gotten that far yet. We were just, but we were, I mean, that's where we're, that's got to be the direction we're going, right? We were just going yeah. forward. So yeah. 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 That's yeah. the, yeah. <clears throat> okay so um you guys uh see the wreckage of where she you know tore off there's like broken glass and metal and there's some a little bit of blood um <clears throat> and you can feel wind um oh coming through where she had broken through that door um uh, like between the cars and you can see like you can see more sunlight pouring through the ceiling because there's a large hole um, with Jack. Like a large hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you dirty girl! <laughs> Sorry, that was that's that, is, that is just sounded really weird. I apologize. <laughs> you know, as if that's the first weird thing that I've said, you know, in my entire life. Is it not? Uh, you're right, it is. Um, <clears throat> so you can feel like wind whipping through and like bits of, even bits of like sand and grit and things like coming in and blowing everywhere and everyone's hair and hats are flying all over the place. <laughs> uh, 
What are you going to well, do? Uh, clearly, we do whatever the cow wants. I mean, that's worked yeah. so far. That's it. Cow call. I agree. I don't think the cow would like that. I think the cow would be upset about all the wind and would probably just want to keep on just going. Okay. <laughs> Since it seems that the um, like the door um, on the other side of like into the next adjoining cart, uh, it has claw marks on it, but it seems that the heavy duty doors prevented the harpy from getting through, so she had to go through the ceiling. Um, so this seems to be some sort of reinforced door. I'm gonna cock my shotgun. All right. Oh, uh, gonna do what? You cock my shotgun. Okay. Ready? Okay. Hi, CC. And I'll go <laughs> nice. to the door and see if I can jiggle the handle. Okay. Uh, you try to, but it is firmly locked. Well, shit. Hard to jingle and jangle. Uh, I'm going to look out for one of the baboons that has these sets of keys. Um, You remember seeing one in the cart before. Or the, yeah, in the car before, I mean, not cart. So the car behind us? Yes. Because remember, there was, a, uh, there was one that died and got shot by... Uh, oh, uh, was that the one that had the keys? Was the shot one? Yes, yes, it was the oh, okay. one. Okay, uh, so I'm going to backtrack. We'll go get that. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to backtrack and uh, look for the <clears throat> keys. Okay. I'm I'll go know. with him. Okay. So, uh, both of you, you start heading back. Both of you roll a presence test. Uh, wits? Presence, eh? Or, well, oh, yeah, yeah, wits. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm yeah. We, oh, Jesus. Questions. Okay. Um... Well, it's, it's a toughness. <laughs> or no, no, grit. Wit, yeah. Grits, slick, wits, and luck. Yeah, that's... yeah. That's right, so I got a 15. Nine. Oh, and a nine. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, <clears throat> luckily, Kevin rolled a 15 because... I was uh, just going there to watch his back, mostly, yeah, 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 anyway. Yeah. Yeah. As backup, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but In case something see... stupid happens. Yeah, well, yeah. As you're going into that cart, you see the door open, and one of the guards starts to walk through. But he, you've seen him before; he's seen you. So, okay, so is he is he imminent? Like he's coming toward us, or like? Yes, he's like, coming towards you. He's like hide? looking. He's looking down at a pocket watch in his. Or hand. should I just blow him away? Ah, I'll tell you, blow him away. Because... Yeah, because he's like looking at the pocket watch and he has like a truncheon in his left hand. <clears throat> yep, I'm and, gonna shoot him. Um, okay, so roll. So, so he's coming raw for us. Range, yes. You don't have to roll to hit. Um, oh, okay. Right on. So you just roll for damage. Okay. Um, what does my uh, re a revolver do? Because uh, I don't. D6. D6. <laughs> One. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> so just as he looks up, he's coming right he's, for us. Boom! <laughs> like a Barney you blast, him in, it. The, you blast <laughs> him in the gut, and he you hear him go, Ooh, and he falls back into the cart. And the door, the, the door hit that he had opened, like shuts on his leg. It doesn't like break his leg, it doesn't break his leg, but it like yeah. shuts on his leg, it prevents it from shutting on his leg. And he falls down. <laughs> okay. Uh, does he talk or does he say anything? Or is he just, is he quiet? All he does when he gets hit, he goes, oh, and then he falls back. And then okay. he, he, he rolls to the side and then the door shuts and you see his leg. Um, okay. But the, you can't see the rest of him because it's inside the other car. To, you know, the time okay. The, uh you're prevented by from seeing all the way in right now from where you're standing from, you know, because of the doors and what have you. But his leg is sticking through, so it's not quite closed completely. All right, so I'm gonna run up, grab the door, and slam it back on his foot again. Okay. <laughs> so you run up and go to slam the door on his leg. Roll a um, slick test. Is a eleven. Okay, so as you run up, you grab hold of the door and you pull it open to start to slam it on him, 
and you see he is holding his chest um, with one hand, the hand that had originally had the pocket watch, right. but he has the truncheon in his other hand and he swings it at you as you open the door and roll. Well, actually, hang on. I'll do that. Um, he, he, yep. Armor. Yeah, no. no. We don't have okay. any of our stuff. Oh, really. yeah. You don't have any of your stuff. Other yeah, than I got that. No. <clears throat> okay. All right. Um, he bashes you with the truncheon for two damage. Which, where do you imagine that hits you for two damage? Uh, it would probably be right in the chest. Yeah, that would really fucking hurt. And you feel yeah. like maybe he might have yeah. cracked a rib with and hit you, but you're not sure. You're not sure. You've never cracked a rib before, but you <laughs> can, can imagine this might be what it feels like. Oh, I get the feeling this character's had a lot of ribs, ribs cracked. I mean, he's been shot 14 <laughs> times. Oh, yeah, that's true. I forgot. Yes. So actually, <laughs> yes, you um, think you might have a slight fracture from getting whacked with. Wait, wait, actually, what's your HP normally? I've what is it? Five. Five? Okay, so... Yeah, well, so, yeah, at, the very least you're gonna have a, at the very least, you're going to have a bruised sternum. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> Burl, what are you going to do? I better get over there. <laughs> um, okay, so... Like, how much room <laughs> have I got? Can I get in there without, like, jumping over Kevin? Yeah, well, you'll have to maneuver, you know... Like okay. around him, so a slick okay. test, I guess that would probably be. Yeah. Okay. Um. Should I just shoot him again? I'm just gonna shoot him again. I have one bullet left, by the way. Oh. oh. <laughs> so it's gonna be. I'm gonna take his truncheon, and I'm gonna be fighting melee from now on. But yeah, I'm gonna yeah, shoot him again. Good. Okay. <clears throat> I'm I more will say. To I will I will say that simply because Kevin is in front of you, like normally you'd be able to hit him without at this range without rolling, but since Kevin is in front of you now, that's it's not gonna make it super difficult. It'd just be like a standard roll. Okay. But nor nor like normally at this range you wouldn't need to. Or what I could do is kick the cart. Wait and let him move out of the way. Or that. That's true. Yes, you could like like how however long that takes, an extra you know, twenty or thirty seconds or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I can. Um, I'm gonna do. Um, that's because that's what I think I'm gonna do. If it were okay. to, you know, if I if I were standing there with it in my hand and I felt like he might be in my way, I want to let him move first. Yeah, yeah. that's understandable. Understandable. So, yeah, that's so. That's what I. That's what I'm gonna. But so, uh, but roll or no roll for or just roll damage. Oh, yeah, just, you... to, just to wait for him to... Uh, is that what you're going to do, Kevin? Yeah. Just move out of the way on your... Oh, uh, yeah, true. I mean, if he comes okay. up with a gun, he'll he... get the hell out of the way, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right, so that happens. The only thing that changes <clears throat> from the time that you guys kind of do the old switcheroo, uh, <clears throat> he pulls his leg in and starts to roll over to try to get up. Uh, okay. So that's what you see him doing as you fire on him. So roll for damage. God damn it. One again. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So uh your bullet flies over him and grazes his cheek and goes across the, his forehead and goes, ah but I guess he, I'm gonna have to tackle him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because like when he when that hits him, it hurts him. And he, but instead of like completely going down, he kinda like staggers up for a second, almost standing. Yeah. It's just like he was like temporarily like had an adrenaline rush and was invigorated for a moment, you know. Looks like and, it's uh, time to tackle him. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, if uh yeah, just so if you want to tackle him, roll grit. Okay, at least I get a bonus this time. Jesus. Uh <laughs> fuck you. Um <laughs> uh, 11, 12, 14. 
14. Okay, so you hit you, or you tackle him. Um, <clears throat> I don't remember what's unarmed damage. I forget. Oh, uh, there's a thing to that. Isn't it a D2? Uh, it is one plus half grit. Oh, that's cool. One plus half I think it's, my... yeah, oh, okay. I, think it's, I think it's a D2 in Mordborn. Uh, yeah. is what so if I it's think if it's plus three, does that make it a plus one or a plus two? Probably a plus one, right? Uh, whatever it is, round up. Round up. Okay, so so one plus two, so three total. Yeah. Okay. Cool. There you go. So... Do more more damage than I did with both shots of my gun. By the way, <laughs> two bullets. <laughs> I did well, less I damage than punching him. <laughs> so you just jump on him and start fucking wailing on this motherfucker. <laughs> he just goes, oh, fuck. <laughs> and he, like, he lets go of the, the trunk t- just because he's like trying to cradle his head because he's getting the fucking bejesus beaten out of him. How and many he, hit he points does be- fucker have? <laughs> he's about done. He, he, I mean, like, he's, he's fucked up. Like, he's hurting bad. <laughs> And he did not see this coming at all. <laughs> he thought this was just going to be another Thursday, but, you know, it right was for us. Boom, boom. Punch, punch. <laughs> it, it's needless to say, it was a very harrowing ordeal for him. And he doesn't know how it's going to shake out. But he's not feeling too good about his odds. <laughs> so. Okay, so yeah, um, I assume I, I, yeah, whoever's whatever's uh, guide us in the t- in the time frame here, because he, he can probably do something, and Kevin can probably do something. I don't. Well, you're yeah, you can just. I mean, you could ki- just fucking kill him if you want. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's what I'm gonna do. Completely I'm at your gonna, mercy. Like... I'm just gonna keep beating him in the face <laughs> until he stops moving enough that I can grab his neck and twist it. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ! Well. <laughs> mangle the shit out of this guy like he just he, he doesn't even do, try to defend himself like he's quivering in horror elbows and knees and, agony. and fists <laughs> just pissing and shitting himself it's just really <laughs> horrific for him this is the worst <laughs> thing that has ever happened to him in his entire life and well being just, murdered just, usually is the worst thing that ever happened to somebody yeah, probably I mean, in their life yeah <laughs> Like you don't get another shot for another bad thing to happen. You're dead. <laughs> you're not like, oh, this is what as bad as last time. Like, you're, <laughs> yeah, yeah, bad. yeah, well, yeah. bad as last time. <laughs> I wonder if people that believe in reincarnation like say things like that as they're going about the day, their days when you know. <laughs> this is as bad as last yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Has been bludgeoned completely into a coma. Um, like he's he's basically dead. He's a if, if not dead, he's a vegetable. Unfortunately, okay. it was a then horrific I... bawling that you gave this poor man. <laughs> <laughs> What's he got on him besides yeah. his trunch? Are his shoes take better than least. the ones I'm wearing? <laughs> yes, they they are actually are because they have every similar one... size. <laughs> uh, roll luck test. One. One. Damn. No, in fact, they're painful. Like, they're just horrifically... Like, he's got... These are, like, orthopedic shoes. And you've tried to jam your relatively healthy feet into these... Oh, darn it. I take them off and put on my normal shoes. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I just felt like clearly that's had the best feet. way to describe a one for that role, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So putting on the shoes. <laughs> Oh fuck! This is the most painful experience I've ever had putting on shoes, or <laughs> maybe I just don't remember. Are the shoes oh, relatively intact, or are they kind of beaten up? I don't know what the hell I believe, man. Uh, your shoes? Oh, well, okay. So his shoes, his shoes are—they're yeah. pretty intact, like, but they're like medical, like these. I mean, no, no, that's fine. So. I've been carrying around these two jars of stew, so I'm going to stick the jars down, e- one down each shoe, tie the laces, and then throw them around my neck. So I've got like a uh, bandolier of A of carrier. Stew. Yeah. Yeah, I like that idea. That's very resourceful of you. In fact, because of your resourcefulness, everyone 
um, can have uh, what are they called? What are they called in this? Omen. Aces. Not omens oh, aces. Aces. Yeah. So everyone can gain an ace because I really like that. I really like that idea. Shoot Bender nice. with soup. Shoot Bender with soup. So, what would everyone else like to do? I see. I don't think I went with you guys for this because well, as I'm I, with Chris. I I don't think that I would. I uh, I don't think that I would have understand the concept of, of backtracking to get go forward. So no. I think I would have just stayed there and mood and pushed my head against the door. Yeah, I like that right. idea. It makes a lot of. I'm sense. behind Chris with my shotgun. It's ready to go. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. So oh, did we ever find any keys? Oh yeah, the, the thing. Did we find the? Keys? <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in. in in that room, I forgot. You're, not sure, you're not sure if they fell off of him when he when all this happened, or if they had already been dropped in here by the baboon from previously or from the previous episode. Um, but regardless of how they arrived, they are here. And if you want to, uh, what is? I think it's luck. I think the isn't the. I'm pretty sure we talked about this. Didn't find we? something so, probably to find. Like if you're looking for a specific key. Like it's, I think it's a luck roll. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, uh, there's probably several on the thing. I am extremely yeah, not it's lucky, very but heavy, and there are like a number of just so, a ton of keys. That is a. Like you, can, you can hit someone with these keys, and it would like harm them. You know. That is a two. Come on, buddy. No, come on. Um, you try. Uh, what, what are you trying to unlock? Currently. Oh, uh, it door. was the heavy metal door. Oh, okay. Yeah. You try that key and it is it does not it does not fit. I try the next key. It's not the right one. Okay. And that is a zero. <laughs> so you, you try this key and you turn it and it snaps off in Fuck. in the lock. Well, that's not good. So you have, so if you're going to um, if you're going to pick this lock, you have to Use, a, use an ace, maybe, if you will. Oh okay. shit! Yeah, okay, that is true. I forgot that. I'll re-roll that one. Yeah, you have a bunch. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah. Uh, okay, that's an eighteen. Hey. <laughs> All right. So, are you re-rolling? I keep forgetting about the aces, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do too. I, I do too. I mean, I yeah, thought I, re I re-rolled the zero. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yes. Congratulations! You find the correct key, and the door does open. It, it's heavy and it creaks open, but um, and now you realize that this appears to be the armory of this particular train. Uh, is my sword in there? Uh, make a luck uh, luck test. And my armor. Um, eleven. Eleven. Um, it might no. Uh, your uh, no. You you find all of your other belongings, but not your armor or your uh weapons. Oh, okay. Okay. So my canteen and my cigarettes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay. And every, everyone else, if you want to look for your stuff, just do the same. <laughs> look. <laughs> Yay, my canteen and cigarette. That is a... yeah, I need a cigarette. Fuck. That's another zero, so I'm going to use another ace. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. I so my use... ceramic chips my palm made? Thank God. <laughs> Can I... Actually, well, no, fuck it. I'm just going to I'm just gonna keep it. Hey, John, what's the uh, trait we're rolling for? Luck. Luck, luck. Yeah. Alright, that's an eight. Uh you do not. Yeah, find... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna burn another one of those. I want my okay. jar of coyote urine, damn it. <laughs> you do have your petroleum jelly or whatever. Yeah, the fuck like jelly. I think that he's right. I am two? I am gonna use an ace. I think they drank my goddamn jar. They must have. <laughs> oh no. It's gone forever. They drink a jar well, of piss. Okay, so you find the jar, but there's no piss in it. 
It just no. Fell. That's okay. I've got the empty up. jar. I will start reacquiring in, in, urine. In fact, <clears throat> in fact, every in fact, everyone make a grit test to see if you're sick from this overwhelming wild canine uh, urine vapor. On a side note, I did it. I used an ace in. By which I'm assuming I just kept looking, even because I didn't find it. Just keep going. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, you twenty. Have, there's a, well, there's a bunch. It's of a twenty. Like, okay, perfect, awesome. And since you rolled a twenty, was it a natural twenty? No, it was an eighteen plus two. Okay, okay, well, okay, all right, cool. So you definitely, you definitely find all of your belongings. Um, okay. Then see, the problem is like you're just trying to look through all the shit because they have all kinds of wild, right? Yeah, just shit. piles and stuff, and like. Guns you've never seen before, you know. Yeah. Like uh, military-looking sabers, um, yeah. a number of you know different things. I got thirteen. A thirteen? Uh, yes, you do find your stuff. I got a sixteen on that grit test, but I got an eleven when I was searching. Yeah, sixteen or what? You say that again? I'm sorry, I'm having a trouble. I'm having trouble his, processing. His grit was sixteen. Yeah, his okay. luck was. What was the other? What was your luck? Oh, okay. So you were un, you're unfazed. Being an animal, you are unfazed by this odor. Although, since you since cows hate coyotes, it puts it makes you like on the alert. Um, so the next time, because it puts you in like a very feral mood, um, you gain plus one on your next damage roll. Ooh. Oh, cool. I Can I find my revolver, or is this just our stuff? All like it, it depends on what you roll. Uh, and and Chris, since you said um, you rolled eleven for the the like looking for your stuff, you don't find your stuff, unfortunately. I am a cow, so yeah. Uh, and what I mean, what did you have? Well, you did have a hook horn, right? I did. I had a prosthetic horn and um, a tin bucket. Yeah. And- Chewing gum and formal wear. <clears throat> formal yeah. wear. Yeah. <laughs> forgot like about a, that. that was like your like bonus a, item, I think, wasn't it? Like like fitted for a cow? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Strangely. That's, enough. Like, that's yeah. what I thought you meant. Well, um, nice. is that's there cool. any kind of is there any leather armor here that would fit a cow? I know that it's made for a cow, but would fit a cow. Yeah, money. It would fit a cow? Okay. You're gonna have to roll pretty high on luck. Right. I got my dog. Well, that's a, I, if I find a bunch of leather, I can make him armor. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yes, you could. That would, that's a good idea. Um, yeah. So roll. Okay, in that case, roll for luck, but it won't be quite as high. It won't be quite okay. as high. As, as that is armor. a uh, fourteen. Yes, you do. Nice. You do find you All find right. enough leather between, like you were, you like find uh, like leather jerkins and things, and so like padding and stuff. Um, and but like between all the materials there, you find you actually do find enough. All right. Then and you're, I'm and going it's to whirling in your it's whirling in your mind all kinds of ideas on how uh like you can construct this. And you're like, even though you don't have any sort of like a tape measure or anything like that to measure, Chris, you're you like have you're such a craftsman that you are pretty good at eyeballing it. So like you just all these ideas are just whirling around. You're feeling very creative. So while I'm very glad that armor is being made for me, I just feel like I need to point out that it's really fucked up to make a cow armor made of leather. Yes, I love <laughs> it. it. Maybe yeah. it's, uh, it's like fucking I leather mean, face. Technically, a cow. sure. Yeah. <laughs> Literal leather, leather face. <laughs> I just feel I just feel it's important to cover our leader. That, that's all. Yeah. I love it. I, that's brilliant. All right, so. I got a, I guess, 12 on craft items. So to make it more. Yes, and you successfully, you do. You you succeed. Your vision comes to fruition, and you feel good about it. Morale's up. Leodora, what do you make of all this insane scrounging that's going on and and the construction of... uh, of this uh, cow wearing, you know, the skin of his dead uh, brethren, or her. Oh, I sister. rolled a twelve for the scrounging. So okay, so you a twelve? Okay, then you find all of your stuff. Oh, amazing! 
cool. I think I'm just excited that I found my stuff in that case. Yeah, like I, yeah, because I mean, like, you guys don't know what these dickheads are going to do with your shit. You know, it's all just going to get ransacked and they're either going to, you know, sell it or they're going to use it or they're going to just fucking, you know, burn it. Probably use it as fuel for this fucking train, you know. So everybody who finds their stuff, you're pretty relieved. Everyone who didn't is somewhat bummed, but there's a lot of creative people and great thinking and meeting of the minds going on. So and all around morale is pretty high at the moment. Well, I didn't find my weapons. Are there in general sort of weapons around oh, in this area? Some stuff that's yeah. Yeah. You can use. Um, are you looking for a melee weapon or are you looking for I would like to not, find two knives. I actually have a revolver uh, if you can find some bullets. I don't have any bullets left, but you can have that. Why well, ain't really a shooting kind of man? Well, there you go. Never mind. <laughs> I'd like to find two knives. Two knives? Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's easy. That's easy. You, you find uh, two like pretty good quality uh, buck knives. Okay. Uh, then what I'm going to do with the dog corpse I found last game is uh, secure two lengths of dog intestine between the two knives and make uh, a dog gut uh, nunchucks. Yes! <laughs> I love it! All right. You know what? That's great. Roll it. Yo, that is a 12. Yes, you succeed in doing that. All right, um, that's my weapon. I got knife chucks. I do not yes, you create this remember. hellish weapon. I don't remember my armor's uh, coverage. I didn't write it down. I think it's a D2, I think. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Good enough. Um, and uh, what was the other thing uh, that I was going to say about that? Um, about people... Oh, okay. So as you guys are doing this, you're, cr you're crafting. Everybody's, like I said, creative juice is flowing and everyone's, you know, amped up. And everyone's kind of ignored that hole in the ceiling where you know, wind and grit and things were blowing oh, through. Everyone's been like kind of talking loudly and what have you. And uh, everyone's having a good time. And then you notice um, three uh, shadowy uh, flying objects swoop down and land on the floor. And you hear what sounds like sharp talons clacking against the floor and approaching you. What? <laughs> I look over at the cow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to move threateningly. Okay. Uh, roll. What would that be? Would that be grit also? Because you're like trying to be. Oh, intimidating? Yeah. Why not? Oh, that is. Blood, yeah. Blood, intimidation blood, blood, is grit, actually. Yeah. That's on there. Yeah. Let's roll grit. Yeah. yeah. All right. Grit is not a great stat for me. <laughs> that's kind of surprising to me because you're a cow. I think, you know. But didn't we determine you're kind of a sickly cow? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, five. Uh, no, th three. <laughs> three. Okay. Um, so you try to you try to act very bullish and intimidating, uh, but you just let out this horrible, sickly moo that just is gurgly, and it just sounds disgusting, and everyone's very unnerved. And <laughs> <laughs> creeped out for a moment they, their faith starts to sort of wasn't supposed to do that I, mean, I, I don't know a lot about cows wait I do know a lot about cows uh, yeah you're starting, to, you're starting to think that maybe the you know as you were examining her you thought you were like maybe just because you were in such a positive uh, mood that you might have missed a few things when you're sort of looking at her body you know and so you're sort of not seeing the health issues that uh, this cow is clearly riddled with, and you start to feel kind of um about that. <laughs> you're like, man, I should have caught that. <laughs> Fire bug, I never knew you were a pie in the sky kind of guy. <laughs> I certainly uh -oh. am, because one of the things I rolled was an optimistic streak. <laughs> <You're fine. laughs> so, <laughs> well, oh, I love uh, that. Either no, y'all got an idea because uh, that, yeah, that, that, that ain't my, work. my only uh, my only idea is to uh, 
ready myself and hold my sword in front of me. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm, kind of, I'm kind of stoked about about getting to fight with it again. Yeah, you feel pretty like the uh, optimistic attitude. You know, it's just keeping yeah, going. Yeah, 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 there you go. Hell yeah, yeah. let's do this. <laughs> you're just so fucking stoked right now. Fuck yeah. You know, you're so amped. Um, Leodora, what do you make of this fucking <laughs> ominous clickety clacketing? Um, can we just like exit this car? You could, yeah, you can go back. Yeah, you know, I, from whence well, you can. Can we just go forward? You can go forward, but remember the, um, like you can go back into the armory, but there's that, those, the shadow. Oh, there are heads. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I think I want to, is there anything to like duck behind in here? Um, yes, there is like some furniture. Yeah, I'm just going to duck some behind. Or some seating, you know, some seating. Um, so yeah, you can do that and like that will act as armor if someone tries to attack you, that will be between them <clears throat> and you. So that will like. If someone tries to hit you, you know, or this, whatever these creatures may be, if one of them tries to get you, uh, <clears throat> you know, you might be able to anyway. use this to block some of the, like, to prevent the, you know, brunt of it. Anyone else want to act before? Um, um cowering seems like a mighty good idea. I, I'm going to follow her. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm going to also cower. <laughs> Did I miss something? Am I still with a cow? Yes. Um, you, there's three, a moon coming like, down from the ceiling. It's all like... Yeah, there's some sort landing. of winged thing. Like, there are three winged creatures that have landed on the floor and are they approaching you, and you can hear their talons clacking against the floor. <clears throat> can I take a shot at one of them? <clears throat> yes, you may. Um, <clears throat> and just as <clears throat> you're, you're waiting to, you know, aim and everything, you see a pretty large... Uh, like pretty big, like good sized vulture, like steps forward and it looks towards you and you see its rat its jagged beak and it opens its mouth and you can just smell the carrion scent on it. Um yeah, go ahead and roll your damage for your gun. Just straight damage? Yeah, because if you're close enough to someone, you don't have to roll to uh... hit with a gun, you don't have to roll to hit because you know. They're can I shoot at the brain. big scary bird, or am I still shooting at one of the little ones? You can shoot at the bird. Yeah, absolutely. They give me the big one. Uh, what? A... CC. Seven. Because I'm using two slugs, both barrel. You say you rolled a seven? Yeah. For damage. Okay. Okay. Oh, damn. All right. So you blast the shit out of this bird. It lets out an unholy croak and feathers and entrails splatter and the bird goes down. <clears throat> the two others leap forward and flat and the dirty feathers fly on the, you know, whirl around about on the floor and you see them. You see their bald heads and sharp beaks and you see their clawed feet. <laughs> I would like to smell like that. Like to what? I wanna I wanna go I wanna charge into melee. Okay. So roll grit to smash into this bird. I'm gonna shout yes and <laughs> It's uh okay. I'm gonna use an ace for that because that's a that's a that's a seven. So we're gonna try that again, and it's gonna be a a nineteen. Awesome. Okay, so <laughs> the bird leaps up, flapping. How many do we have? How, how, how many aces do we have? I only had two, right? Or did I have three? Uh, I had three because we did a bunch of. We had a okay. bunch of 20 yeah. last game or something. Yeah. I had yeah. two. You just kind of accrue them. Yeah. 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 I, 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 thought, right. I think I had two. Yeah. I haven't used it yet. But anyway, that's the last one. <laughs> okay. 
So, um, so you, you know, grab a hold of the bird and it's clawing at your face with its feet and it's thrashing its neck and pecking and biting at your, the back of your head. And you grab a hold of it. What, what are you wanting to do to it exactly? Like you have a hold of it. I'm just going to charge with, I was going to charge with the sword. Oh, okay. All right. Well, in that case, yeah. So you swing this sword and it catches the bird in the breast and slices down and, Feathers fly and it squawks and thrashes. Um, and uh, what was the damage? Six. Six. Okay. So it it quivers and snaps its beak and it bleeds <laughs> everywhere. And there's bloody hollow bones fragments yeah, laying all over the floor. Spear. Just like, like yeah, you just. Yeah, you just like when you stabbed into it, it, the bones that got struck by it are just fucking destroyed. <laughs> there's feathers flying, there's blood, and it smells horrible because then the birds are shitting as well. So you know, of course, <laughs> awesome. a real assault the senses. You've all been there. Yeah, <laughs> I will. There's one creature left, right? Yes, there is. And it's fluttering and flapping and it's fr looking frantic. I want to charge at it and just try to just stomp it. Okay. Roll grit. Which is what a cat would totally do if it's so. Oh, yeah, absolutely. An enraged cat. Uh, under oh, yeah, that too. So you get a plus whatever to your attack. Plus one, yeah. Oh, oh then uh, 17 then. Hey. Yeah, so you rear up and just smash into the bird uh, now roll for damage which would be is it D4 think for the cow or D6 I don't know for the stompy hooves probably like D6 I think it's a cow they kill probably. a lot of people every year yeah we kill then, some here. but we'll say a D6 for this, an all out trampling of this fucking bird um only two damage oh, okay well you knock the shit out of it and stomp it. You snap one of its wings, uh, just bludgeon the shit out of it, but it is surprisingly not dead. It is still alive. It's just it's severely injured. It's yeah, it's grounded at the at the very fucking least. It is grounded and like impaired in some way. And like just it's obviously impaired from just getting this brutal bashing. Bovine bashing. Birthday bash. <laughs> All right, now that it's good and impaired, I'm going to yeah. run up there with my knife chucks and... Whoa! <laughs> yes! Bash yeah. Well, in that case, um, since you're attacking, make two attacks because you're... That's a nunchuck. Nunchaku. So it's, uh, you know, it's a double weapon, right? Yeah. Is it? Nunchucks? Yeah. Is it or is it not? Because wouldn't it be and like, like yeah, I don't know. Hold, maybe I'm gonna hold it by I'm the gun. Of... <laughs> maybe, yeah, just... maybe I maybe I don't understand how that sucks work. I don't anyway, know. so it would be a 14 and a uh eight. 14 and an eight. Well, nevertheless, one of those does hit. So uh, roll whatever the damage uh, decided on was for that. Five. All right. Um, so the poor, just battered and bashed bird, uh, turns and seems like it's about to, uh, attempt to defend itself, but you just brutalize the poor creature with this, with the organs of, uh, you know, it's, um, it's nest mate, um, and it is severely lacerated and destroyed strangled and all that you know that you can do to hurt someone with an intestine nut chuck good so just yeah. let your imagination run wild <laughs> it's like, like, with like a link of sausages yeah <laughs> yeah the combat it's, it's a link of sausages with two knives attached isn't that what he's, my, that Michelangelo says is a combat cold yeah cold. Like, yeah that's how you do it yeah, 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 yeah. It's, a two yeah. So it's, a, it's at least two. 
Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, I think I would... that makes sense. Like, doesn't it? Because it's a whip, it's a whippy whippy weapon, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> it's not like a flail, which is just like one wide arc where you just No, you know, this is something they talk the Avenger would wield in combat. It's a a flail is strength yeah. based, and a nunchuck is a uh, dexterity or agility, you know, yeah, or slick in the you could use it as a flail, probably, if you were to. Yeah, you could. I would grab one end. Yeah, it would be. I would say could. that would be what. Yeah. That's what you would. That's what. Okay, here's what you can do with it. You can use it as a whippy whippy weapon for a d6 with each, you know, for each attack. But if you use that as a flail, it's it's just one attack. That's a d8, like a normal flail. Does that make sense? That makes yeah, sense. that's not bad. You know, I think it's kind of like the versatile um, uh, weapon um, descriptor that's in Five E, where uh, like like if you use you could use a spear with oh. one hand, and I think it like gives you yeah, uh, I, you can use agility or something like that, or you can use it like two handed for and use it like as a strength based weapon or something yeah. along the, something along those lines. Yeah. Yeah, I you know, you guys all get the idea. But um so these poor vultures are just obliterated. As a condor, this just really hurts my feelings. I'm sad this happened. You shouldn't have attacked I'm sad this. I set I'm sad that I set this state <laughs> of events in motion. It's my one regret in life. You're the one. only thing I do um. all over again. <laughs> Anyway, it's well, just a. It's just uh, because it's I'm going to skin birthday. the vultures and, and make them into a suit. Okay, um, so <clears throat> you are still feeling pretty creative, but uh, not noticing the cow's, you know, obvious emaciated, you know, frame. Um, you know, you're, you're still trying to be upbeat. So you craft this suit. Describe it. Uh, it's going to have kind of uh, feathers going down the back. And uh, the skull, I'm going to replace my... Uh, well, actually, I'm going to add onto my uh, Texas different armadillo with a condor skull. Oh, yes! I love that. That's sick. Okay. <laughs> so you successfully create this sort of like almost wastelander style vulture armadillo like leather working armor and it's fucking amazing. Uh the only thing that is unfortunate though about this, since you like had to put a lot of time in it, a lot of time goes by as this is happening. So you successfully do that. However, you notice um, it's starting to get darker, and you see something coming from the cart. Uh, like something's oh, coming no. through. Something seems to be coming through the um, armory from the other side. <clears throat> Human or animal? Um, you just see uh, like the door open, and you can see like a large muscular arm. That's all you see that's, as it's just pushing the door open. I want to cock my gun again. Okay. Yeah. Well, you still have to reload work. in this game. I'm just assuming. <laughs> yeah, you can just... Yeah, that's fine. You can just... Yeah, that's fine. You got it. <laughs> I mean, we're in the arm. We're going to... Be... Yeah. You know I love cocking. <laughs> and being fine, like I love being fine. I love cocking, <laughs> cocking and being fine. <laughs> I just what the fuck, man. Anyway, so <laughs> is, does anyone else want to do anything before the door gets completely opened? I want to shoot the arm. Okay, roll uh slick. Is it slick? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, no, wait. Actually, no, you don't even I'm unless sorry. it's in melee range, in which case oh, you just okay. shoot it. The, o- the only reason normally you could just shoot it without having to roll, but since the, it's open, it's like pushing the door open, the door is acting like as somewhat of a barrier. It'll just be yeah, it'll just be a normal slick roll. 
Does that make sense? I don't know. I, I feel like I was very. Oh, like, yeah, oh. that's good. <laughs> well, you were, but we still understood what you meant. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, but it was decipherable. You're all yes. intelligent enough to you know, be able to rationalize the ramblings of a fool, essentially. <laughs> That is only an eight. So I'm going to use an ace to roll it again. That's what we do, right? Roll it again? Yeah. 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 Just roll it. <laughs> that time it was only a three. <laughs> okay. So I like your um, Wonder Woman tattoo. What? What? I like your Wonder Woman tattoo. Thanks. Oh, nice. Cool. Awesome. Oh, is that the one on your arm? Is that yeah. what I'm... It's That's badass. The screen's flashing back and forth. It's showing everybody it's like a different fucking. Yeah. So you. It's gay. Oh, wait, you're yeah. yeah, I'm on my phone. If I do, like, I can change my view, but it's like it, like it, t- it loads. You know, it takes. Oh yeah. Like, oh. Everybody yeah. sometimes you freeze, and sometimes I can't hear your voice, and it's it's not worth it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's understandable. Totally understandable. I can see it when I watch the video. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so you... She got the shit out of his arm or she missed? Well, no. Okay. So she shoots. The bullet hits the do- the metal door and ricochets. So whoever was right beside you, roll a luck test. Not me. Who <laughs> Who was? I don't... We don't even know. Like... Uh, Everyone roll a luck test. Everybody roll a luck test. You're the lucky bastard that he got shot. Let's figure out who was standing. That was a Who was That is a one somebody used my last case. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to get shot. There's precedent for this. I'm used to it. 13. 13. 19. Uh, uh, oh, 15. There we go. 13, 19, 15. I also 15. need to roll a luck test. I just bounced back at you. Because <laughs> that would really, really suck if you hit yourself. That would be awful. Uh, 11. You hit Damn yourself. That. So, do you have, do you have arm? Did you grab any kind of arm? I don't remember. No. Um, I don't oh, she can, she can use her hat. Yeah, you can use your hat to just nullify uh, the damage um, if you want to do that. Um, do I lose the hat? Yeah, you do lose the hat, but you can always get another hat. I mean, you know, there are plenty of hats. Can you bear the shame of not having a hat? (laughs) Yes, you may have to roll with that every day to see if you're able to deal with not having a hat. You know what? We're still in the room with the birds, right? Yeah, yeah, I can make you a new hat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'll use the hat to nullify that damage, and I will be wanting to make a new hat out of these. That's cool. A bird skull or something. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, there's two more skulls. We can make you a skull hat. I love the the sort of Mad Max direction. The scene. Or a wing. cowboy game seems like, like wrap tasty. a wing around weird. I don't know. Yeah, I love that. Speaking yeah, of which, so... we'll take whatever's left of the raccoon and add a bird and some wings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so the yeah the the bullet ricochets off the door, hits your hat, goes right through it, destroys the hat. Um, but you are unscathed and like still like it's sort of just like energy that's flowing today. You guys are just kind of in you know synchronicity and you feel just oh teamwork is just making the dream work, man. So you um <clears throat> so you successfully avoid that and he is going to make you a hat. But before he can make you a hat, uh the door opens up and you see a large um, much taller than anyone that's in this cart. Um, muscular rat man. Oh, <laughs> is it Ratma? Wait, <laughs> no, no. I mean, you all would, would be dead if it were Ratma. Um, but no, it, it, he's wearing he's wearing like a red and white striped uh tight shirt okay. and just some brown pants. I actually have some. Just, um, okay, so I have two skills that I think might together. So one, I lie with advantage. Go. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I can act as another four-legged creature. 
act as another four-legged creature? I'm gonna like act, a moose? I'm gonna act like a cat. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. She's gonna okay. crawl along the ceiling okay. and attack it. I like where this is go. I like where this is going. I really do. <laughs> so in my correct me if like if I get this wrong. Uh but you just but you know, you did miss earlier or no, you did succeed with your attack. You're still fired up from that extremely like you were just in your most animal at that moment when you bashed that fucking buzzard into the ground. And so you're still amped. And even though you're a cow, you just feel testosterone flowing through you, or maybe it's actually your maternal wrath. I think that actually makes a lot more sense. Just your raw maternal wrath. And you charge forward. I think and... I the tiger starts playing. Yes, and, but you feel almost predatory in that <laughs> moment. And you pounce at the rat man. And he feels it. Like he is, I mean, he's bigger than you. And you are sickly. But it somehow makes you look more feline. And he just screams and falls backwards into the cart. The door is open. Nice. <laughs> And he just falls back, <laughs> cowering. I'm going to walk up and put my shotgun in his face and shoot it. All right, roll for damage. I still got a little bit. Seven. Seven. Okay, so... You blow the side of his face off and like a fragment of his jawbone and, and incisor like flies through the air and flies past your face and there's blood and bone and cartilage and hair flying everywhere as he falls backwards and you see his tongue flop as his bottom jaw shakes like that and he falls. And you see standing behind him is a repulsive looking creature that is a what looks like an emaciated bear with the head of um, a middle aged man, a bald middle aged man. More and, or monsters. <laughs> and, Do you? Is this autobiography? And, and <laughs> what? <laughs> so it's you? <laughs> Yeah, yes, essentially, yes. <laughs> and you also, and you also, you know, an emaciated bear in the face of a middle-aged man. Yes, that's actually spot on. <laughs> anyway, so you also see uh, a humanoid crocodile man with, uh, like, sea cat, a blue and white. Uh, sea outfit, and he has a little, he has a little corn cob pipe in the, the side of his jaw. But when um, he, his friend's face gets blown off, he jumps back, and the pipe like flies out of his mouth, and he looks out like a big reptilian, like gurgling, like broke. And, right. and, and like, and like the smell of like fit rotten fish, like radiates in the air. Been there. <laughs> uh, so what is everyone else going to do I don't know cock my gun again it's going to do pretty well cock it and what was it cock it and I forget what it was cock it and lock it I don't remember what we were saying yeah, earlier cocking and fine and cocking it up or something I don't remember there you go <laughs> uh, anyway, <clears throat> so uh, you cock your gun. Does anyone else do anything? I guess I better get in there. Yeah, I, th I think I guess we're shooting this big bear guy. Yeah, so you can either shoot the crocodile guy or you can shoot the bear. Shoot, shoot was essentially me. <laughs> you know, only more, slightly more her sign, you know. So it's a just pitiful, grotesque creature before you. <laughs> just a wandering monstrosity. 
I, I I'm going for the one that's closest. I guess it's probably the bear, right? Yeah, it would definitely be him. Yes, because it's, it's a yeah. I'm I'm going in with the sword. I'm gonna sword him. I'm gonna sword him out. Sword him out. <laughs> yes. Line. We'll get this sorted. Um, <laughs> to that, this sorted affair. <laughs> yes. Is it? Is it a? Is it a grit? Yes. Yeah. yeah it's grit. Twenty. Oh no. fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. Natural twenty. No, well, no. Okay. Okay. Well, but either way. You definitely hit. Uh, okay. I mean, he is not, and, and without, okay, he, basically, I'll say this. He's hit, and there's no, he's not going to get a reprisal. Like, he, you're, he's going to skip a turn, basically. You hit him so hard. Like, if you don't kill him with this blow, you're at least, like, debilitating him. Like, he's fucked up. Seven. Seven. Okay. <laughs> So he like raises up his paw and you slice his paw in half, slice off his paw and cuts across his face and down his chest and he falls <laughs> to the side and just goes <laughs> <laughs> just a pitiful creature. Or chop. A wretched beast. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I guess I'm going to shoot a crocodile guy. Hell yeah. My beautiful, um, beautiful little homunculus. <laughs> I did create her. <laughs> That's an eight. An eight. Uh, okay, so you fire at the crocodile man. Um, but he, as he jumps and he stumbles backwards, um, he, there was a, uh, like a, like a cart, like a serving cart, um, a metal serving cart on wheels behind him and he fell back into it and it like flips up and he actually like stumbles out of the way, um, and avoids being hit, but he is prone on the ground right now. So he's in the head. Shoot him in the head. I'm gonna walk up there and shoot in the head. Blast his reptilian brains out. <laughs> Even though we didn't talk to any of them. Yeah, there was no diplomacy. Here they were at going raw for us. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah, there hey. I was. In my own business. <laughs> Got eight. Eight? Okay, so. You blast off the back of his skull. His hat, uh, his hat flies off. Um, the hat does prevent some of the damage, but part of his head, like you see the scales and like the scales and um, some flesh blow off. It doesn't blow like you can't see his brain though. That's how thick his skull is. But yeah. like it's exposed and like very injured. <laughs> and he was like grab like you hear this like. Pain growl emanate from the bed. Like he like lands on his belly. Oh, so he's still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. But oh, okay, we're good. Now that, he's pro- now that he's prone and very injured, I'll run up and slash him at him with my uh, dog jokes. Please, all right. Please. Go for it. Wait, the two attacks or the one? Uh, the two attacks. Okay, so that's a twelve and a fifteen. They both hit. <laughs> Both of these six. We're doing good. That deal is five. Five. Okay. So you strike at the weak spot on his head, and just you see like a slice across the skull, and then the second like hit breaks the skull open and takes part of the brain off. He spasms and snaps his jaws. Um and bites into one of the chairs and <laughs> like crushes part of it, but then he quivers and dies. Uh, so yeah. he is dead. The bear is still alive, but it misses out on everybody. Uh, did everybody act? Yeah, everybody went. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so everybody gets to go again. Okay. 
they can do whatever they want and then he you know, gets to act if he if he manages to somehow survive this round. <laughs> I'm gonna it's give not him like yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take that sword that was already in him and sort of give it a twist and pull it the oh, other God. way. God. Okay, okay, so make a grit, another grit test. Um that is a 10. Okay. So you go you get it like you try to twist the the sword and tear it through him, but he actually gra- wraps his paw around your hand and the handle and starts to squeeze. Like the the claws are not piercing through your hand yet, but you can feel if it something doesn't happen, like, you know, this could be an, an issue. At the very least, you're just sort of, something's trying to grab you, essentially. Yeah. Okay. So, do, is there time for me to do something as far as this round is concerned, or are we just gonna... Um, st- it might... Probably not, because you just went... Roll, yeah, roll past me, right? Because yeah. so we all have a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody still gets yeah. to act. Yeah. 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 I want to yeah. shotgun him in the face. Okay. Did you load your gun? Sure. <laughs> Roll luck, actually. Roll luck. Because I know you big... shot twice. Okay. Oh. But well, I don't it's... remember. I don't remember what we decided on the ammo situation. I forgot already. I'm sorry. I well, I've been keeping track of my ammo. I rolled 16 for life. Okay. Zero. All right. All right. So yeah, then you can go ahead and you can go ahead. And, uh, yes, there was another bullet in there. So yes, you can fire. It. I have three left. You have three left. Okay. Roll that beautiful bean damage. Five. Uh, all right. Five damage. <laughs> what do you think that looks like exactly? Like you doing that? Like, what do you think that in your mind as you're imagining you blasting yeah. with your gun? The bear what is are you just on the ground. Yeah. And he has a paw on Evan's hand, but he's still severely injured. Okay. The head. He looks so- like he's on his last leg, and you just yeah. dealt five damage to him this time. Head's going to explode, and there's a bunch of like <laughs> brain guts, a lot of brains. And the hand grabbing is going to go. <laughs> oh, shit. And it's fall that's down. That's what I was imagining. Very, like, trauma, the head explosion. You know, that's what I was picturing. Very dramatic. <laughs> uh, yes, man. Yes. I love it. So the bear is dead. All the manimals that are in this room are dead. I would like to walk up and pick up that corn cob pipe with my mouth. It's kind of hold it there for a second, so you kind of think maybe there's something more going on there. But then I'm just yeah. going gonna... yeah. to <laughs> I love it. It's corn cob. I love it. Yeah, you just stand there almost thoughtfully. Yeah, and then yeah, and there's like a look. There's still a little smoke billowing from the from the pipe, and then chomp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there are these dead animal men. It looks kind of like part the room is all was like already ransacked before you guys came blasting in here. Um, like maybe they were searching for something, or maybe they're just pissed off because they're probably you know they were probably created by the freak taxidermist, you know. Because you do notice that, like, it's not so much that they are, like, 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 bred, you know, hybridization. It's like they've been surgically hybridized. Like, you see mm-hmm. stitching and bolting and things like that. It's floppy like, it's well, like floppy work. Like, the more you look at it, the more, like, crude it looks. It, it's more yeah. like the idea of these animals than it is really. That they, it's almost like like the movie Tusk in a way. They're just sort of, you know, leathery, grotesque, surgical animal people. Oh my God, Sarah and I on our honeymoon went to Michigan and went to this little like cute little pie place. It also has like you can pick your own fruit place. Yeah. 
And it's a great restaurant. People don't like dining at a restaurant, but mainly they do like pie flies. Regardless, you walk in the little hallway to get to the door to get in there. And it's like country crock kind of cute shit. At yeah. the end of it, they have their dead dog taxidermied to greet you at the door every time. Oh my uh, god! No, I love no. it. I love it. I uh, absolutely. It's a toss up. No, because I was like, yeah. oh, and then you look at the sign, and you're like, oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's so cool. I love it. I'm not a fan. I loved it. Now, she if they taxi derby the original owner and put them out front to greet, I'm on board. I, I'm down for that cool. too. I I think it'd be freaky to see that, you know. Right. Their dog. Yeah. Eh, no. So I'm going to uh, gather up some parts from the various animals and make a new hat. Yeah. All right. Roll to craft that successfully. It is a 12. You craft that. What does it look like? Uh, well, if you want to be condor skull, so probably the, probably the raccoon hat as a base with the condor skull, maybe some of those alligator teeth. Get some barriers. Oh, yeah. I love it. It's very, it just looks like a varmint. Like, it just makes you, like, you just look like that's just made out of varmint parts. And it just, it's, but it's almost royal in a way. It, you know, it's, it's so, there's a majesty, a crude majesty to this, to this varmint hat. <laughs> the new hat. So if someone wears it, they get a plus one to, like, interactions related to varmints. There you go. You have a plus one helmet of uh, varmiting. Yes, and in addition to acting as a normal hat, too. You know. <laughs> like, you can use it the same way as a normal hat, but you can additionally it has this extra ability that makes it kind of a hard choice if you want to sacrifice it. You know what I mean? Because it's beneficial, but it's also very situational. So I think that kind of makes it, it's kind of an interesting magic, almost like a magic item in a way. Even though magic doesn't necessarily exist in this world, or maybe it does, I don't know. I'm kind of ambivalent about that. that does anyone want to say anything before they before we end this session? If, does anyone want to preemptively do anything, or is everybody just gonna take some downtime or what? Downtime. I like my character a lot. I want to talk a lot more next time. And yeah. uh, donate and adopt from your local shelters. Yes, absolutely. And if you have an injured squirrel, there are wildlife rehabilitation places. Don't take him to a vet. There are. Yeah. I gave him that phone number, and he said, "I don't want to hear it." He said, "This is what's going to help you." <laughs> Literally, I had those people at my library on Saturday. They will do that, dude. I yeah. Saw oh yeah, you're a possum. Oh yeah, man, I, was, I, was so I got cool. to pet a possum. That is so cool. Amazing. <laughs> she was so precious. I'm so jealous. Sam was so jealous. She just. She, I showed her that, and she just wanted to cuddle her. She's so beautiful. It was great. That was a good possum. Yeah, that was really cool. Anyway, uh, anyone else want to add anything before we, you know, cut off this this possum talk? Uh, check out the Monster Masters podcast. Yes. We're actually doing a, a Muncie, like, uh, true crime and paranormal series. Oh, really? Yeah. I like that. There are a lot of unsolved uh, murders in this town. Uh, yeah, I'm not surprised at all. I'm not. There is a body that. found down by the river like three days ago. Yeah. It's a crap oh and that's not the first one. There's maybe six months ago. There's another body found like someplace else. Must he be I'm finding so some just like dead bodies? Oh, hell. Yeah, the parts I'm are... so oblivious to what's going on around me. Apparently, that's. <laughs> Well, obviously, but I mean, to apparently a, a terrifying degree. Dude, that's yeah. the only Jesus, existential <laughs> nightmares. And it's been this way for a long time. Like, I know people are like, it's getting so bad. But like, no, like I, I covered a story um, from 1898 where like yeah. a five-year-old boy was like beaten nearly to death and then like shot executioner style in the head of the pistol. Oh my yeah. God. Damn. Never found out who to the bathroom, but I'll plug their shop because they got their own business now. Uh, down, oh, nice! Yeah, uh, Ch uh, Chick Habit Beauty. 
uh, chickhavebeauty.com. Oh, you can yeah. There. You can make your appointments and yeah. get your hair did. Or uh, Amber there uh, can do nails really well. Okay. Where's that at? Yeah. Um, it's in the Mad Jacks building. Oh, nice. That's a good location. That is. Mad Jacks is cool. We, I took the kids to this. Um, I, it was like a magic, like an illusion class. Uh, and it was pretty amazing. Like, he gave us, like, invisible string. We did all kinds of fucking, yeah. you know, plain bullshit. It was, <laughs> it was fun. Uh, but, yeah, Mad Jacks is really cool and very informative. And, I mean, I guess maybe just plug them also. Uh, my friend Andrew works there. He's a great guy. Uh <laughs> They have all the good stuff yeah. in there. What's that? Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. It's really cool. Um, see, this is also an educational show, guys. You know, <laughs> I mean, every aspect of our show. That's our. We are. We, you know, I can say this with no arrogance. Just Kevin and I are like some of the top educators out there. You know, you should just of obscure public we, domain cinema. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> everything we tell you, you should really. You know, these are pearls of wisdom here that we're yeah, you're scholars. We are, <laughs> yes, yes, no, yeah, yes, we are, we are. We're learned men, learned scavengers, men of credibility. And you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, does anyone else want to say anything before we go? Yeah. No, okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, I hope that you like this. RTS scum uh, game. I had fun. I hope I wasn't too obnoxious. Um, but uh, that was good. You know, okay. It's okay. Like you can you can let me down easy. I'll I'll understand. You know, I just <laughs> no. I'm very sensitive. No, but but seriously, I hope everyone had a good time. Um, I did, and uh, everyone be safe and have fun. And Evan, have fun at work. And anyone else who works, yeah. Um, tomorrow. <laughs> I hope that it doesn't suck. I hope it's great and no one gets hurt. And that wasn't a threat. I hope that no one gets hurt. Uh, I was Thank like, you. no one gets hurt, you know, wink, wink, or Watch whatever. Out. Yeah. I, on the other yeah. hand, no one better get gets hurt. hurt. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> Evan does hope that people get hurt. So <laughs> I don't, I understand that. I, I get it. I get it. Uh, and with that, I have been uh, Condor. Um, I hope this wasn't too neurotic. But the episode. No, this was a big yeah. Good night and goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>